Are athletes born or made? Are some people born to be great, or does practice make perfect? I'm sure many of you in the audience today have dreamt of being an athlete, but have you ever wondered if you have the right genes to make it to the top? Becoming an athlete is an exceptional feat that not many people are able to achieve. But for those who do achieve it, what sets them apart from the rest of us? This question has existed for almost as long as sport itself. It's always been my dream to play cricket for Australia. I can think of nothing better than earning my own bag of green. However, I know that many people have this dream, but very few are able to succeed at it. So this got me wondering, what will it take for me to make this dream come true? Is it even realistic? And what are the factors that may influence my chances of success? This all brings me back to my original question, are athletes born or made? The argument that athletes are born does have some scientific background. There have been genes that have proven to be linked to enhanced athletic performance. For example, the gene ACTN3, nicknamed the gene for speed. This gene is known to affect an athlete's endurance, flexibility, strength, muscle fibre composition and muscle size. For example, Usain Bolt's legs are made up of 80% fast twitch muscle fibres. These, these muscle fibres are affected by the speed gene. In fact, most Olympic sprinters possess this gene, but not all. So can this be all it takes? Is being born with the right genetic makeup enough to make it to the top? What about practice makes perfect? You may have the genetic potential to make it to the top, but if you live an unhealthy lifestyle of not exercising and eating badly, it is unlikely that you will fulfill this potential. There are many other uh, factors that, um, that may influence your chances of success, such as access to great coaches, parents who set high expectations for their children, perseverance, focus, and of course, hard work and training. In fact, there is a theory called the 10,000 hour theory that states that if anyone completes 10,000 hours of practice in their chosen field, they will be elite, they will be elite by the t end of their practice. There is much to debate to whether this theory is true or not, but there are many great examples of where practice and perseverance have paid off. Take Alyssa Camplin, for example. She was 22 years old and had barely ever seen snow before, but she was a talented gymnast and set herself the goal of winning a gold medal in the aerial skiing event at the Winter Olympics. She practiced, met, she practiced every day and had to overcome many injuries, including a broken collarbone and hand, a dislocated sternum, two broken ankles and 12 cracked ribs. Despite all of this, she went on to win the, Australia's first ever first ever gold medal at the Winter Olympics in a skiing event. So, is it nature or nurture? Are athletes born or made? Personally, I believe it's a combination of both na natural athletic ability and practice. The examples above prove that both nature and nurture can help an athlete make it to the top. So, what does this all mean for my dream of playing cricket for Australia? Well, my genetic makeup may mean that I'll never run faster than Usain Bolt. But given that genetics are only part of the winning formula, it's reassuring to know that practice and determination play a large part in becoming an athlete, and that is something I can commit to. Thank you.